Hi, in our today's video, we will discuss about sum if and sum if s function. Basically, sum if or sum if s function can sum the values with your required criteria. For example, in this data table, I have course center details, departments, employee names, gender, and their basic salaries. If I have only one criteria or condition, then I will use sum if formula. But if I have more than one criteria, in that case, I will use sum if s function. Before I start my video further, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get all future video notifications. In my first scenario, I want to sum up the basic salaries as per departmental cost center wise. So it's mean I have only one criteria and I will use sum if function which is start from equal sum if bracket so our first argument is range so firstly i will select the range because these are my cost center comma then i will select the criteria comma the third argument is sum range so i want to calculate the basic salary that is why i will select this range bracket close and press enter I got the answer 165683. So if you go to the database here, these are the cost center. And if you sum up these basic salaries, then you got the same answer 165683. Similarly, if I select any other cost center, for example, 7601, then I got the answer 18440. So if I go to the database, these are the cost center and these are the salaries. So here you can see I have the same answer 18440. So how this formula is working? If I double click on the formula, then you can see my first argument is range and second one is criteria. So Excel find this criteria in this range. After find the same, it will go to the sum range selection and sum up the same value as per the criteria. So it's been our criteria mostly match with our range. Otherwise we will not get any answer. In our example, our criteria is cost center 7601. So Excel find this criteria in our range and after matching this criteria, it will go to the sum range argument, which are basic salaries and sum up the salaries of this cost center and give us a total here when we press enter. Similarly, if I select any other cost center, for example, 7515. This is my criteria now and I got the answer 190233. So Excel find this criteria in this range and this is our cost center as per my criteria. Then Excel move to some range argument and sum up these values because these values related to my criteria and give me answer here. So if you sum up this value, you can see that I got the answer 190233, which is exactly matching which Excel sum if formula give me here. Here I have another example. I want to sum up the basic salaries gender wise. So how can we do this? Firstly, I will copy this format here and change the heading and delete this cost center then here i will make another list male female then i will insert here data validation list so i will remove this select it and click ok then you can see i find male female here so i will use sum if formula equal sum if bracket so my first argument is range so i will select the range here because this range must be related to criteria comma and this is my criteria comma 
the third argument is sum range which is basic salary so i will select this bracket close and press enter when i press enter you can see i got the answer double four eight six five nine for counter check i will go to the database and filter the mail and click ok and you can see i filter only mail basic salaries i will select this and if you go to the bottom you can see i got the answer double four eight six five nine which is exactly matching what some formula give us similarly if i select here female you can see i got the answer for double zero double zero seven so here i will filter female salaries and click ok and then select these salaries and go to the bottom and you have the same answer for double zero double zero seven so here i will remove the filter and also hide these with the white color as i previously told you how this formula is working excel find this criteria in the range here after matching the range it will go to the sum range argument and find the values after find the values excel sum up those values which is specifically related to criteria and shows the total here so what if we have more than one criteria for example i want to sum up the basic salaries of departmental cost center wise and gender wise at the same time how can we do this so in this case we will use some ifs function for example we have the cost center department employee name gender and basic salaries so here this is our criteria cost center gender and what we want sum up the basic salaries of these two criteria so here we will use some ifs function which start from equal sum ifs bracket so here our first argument is sum range we want to sum up the basic salaries of these two criteria so our sum range is basic salaries so i will select this range comma the second argument is criteria range one as you know that criteria range must be related to criteria so our first criteria is cost center so it's mean our criteria range is cost center range i will select this comma then the third argument is criteria one so it's mean we will select our first criteria which is cost center comma now the next argument is criteria range two our second criteria is gender so it's mean our second criteria range is gender column we will select this column comma then next argument is criteria two so here we will select our second criteria and bracket close press enter and you can see i got the answer 78488 and this is our cost center if you go over database you can see this is our cost center here and this is gender here our second criteria is male so in gender column this is male and this is male so if we sum up this value and you can see we have the same answer 78488 so how this formula is working if i double click this formula and you can see we have two criteria and two ranges so firstly excel will jump to the first criteria range which is related to criteria 1 and our criteria 1 is cost center 7812 excel find this value here after finding this value excel will jump to second criteria range which is gender and this is related to criteria 2 
and our criteria 2 is male. So Excel also find this second criteria here. Then it will jump to the third argument sum range and find the amounts which is related to criteria 1 and 2 which is 43,488 and 35,000 and sum up these values and show me in basic salary here when I press enter. So if I select here female you can see I got the answer 87195 which is related 7812 cost center. So this is our cost center 7812 and this is our second criteria female and these are the basic salaries. When we sum up these two values, we have the same answer 87195. So if I select any other cost center, for example 7901 and the second criteria is female and we have the answer 83056. So in our database we have here this is our cost center 7901 and this is our criteria 2. This is female and here's the one another female. So we sum up the basic salaries of these two females and here we have the same answer 83056. So if I change the gender here male and you can see we have the answer 70752. So if we sum up the basic salary of these two males then you can see we have the same answer 70752. So in this way you can use sum if and sum if as function in your database. Hopefully you like this video. If you have anything just write it in the comments and don't forget to share this. Thank you so much.